Good afternoon, world. I wanted to add on to my video from earlier on gratitude because I had a memory, right, of when I was in jail. And what happened was I had a prior charge in Broward County, Florida, and uh, I got arrested in Austin, Texas, and automatic warrant, bench warrant I was served with and was uh, had no bond. And um, I was in Del Valley in Texas and waiting to be extradited back to Broward County, Florida. Well, they have like 10 days to come get you or something. And if they don't, you're free. So, of course, they come got me. But it was a crazy, awesome, weird, hard, all that experience all rolled into one, right? I don't know if anyone's been on a paddy wagon before, but you're shackled your hands to your feet and you know you get outside food but I mean weigh the options right and um you're having to like eat like that put your hands up to your um mouth see and um stuff like that and then if you have to pee forget it <laughs> you know so I didn't drink much water on the road and we stopped at different jails to use the bathroom and stuff like that but um so my first jail hub I stopped at on, on the extradition was a 10 day extradition by the way was um in a little town in Texas and East Texas and um I met this girl right and I just started my journey my faith journey at the time I was just introduced to um the Bible really I mean I'd seen the Bible and stuff but I didn't really understand it or read it or pick it up so I got saved in jail when I was in Del Valley and uh so the first jail hub that I stopped at was uh, I met this girl and she said, Ilana, wash your hands. And I said, whoa, what? She said, Ilana, wash your hands. She said, that just came to me for some reason. I said, do you know what my middle name is? She said, what? I said, Ilana. And we were both like, oh my God, oh my God, it's so weird. It was just so cool and crazy all at once. It was like, whoa, like how you can't make that shit up. You just can't. So, um, so we got on our knees and literally washed our hands, had like a little ceremony for that. And then we both got on our knees and prayed. And then uh, she left in the middle of the night on her way to where she was going on her extradition. But then when I finally got to Broward County, right, there was this other girl in jail that um, had a manila envelope folder um, you can get on commissary. And she had little pieces of paper with different scriptures on them. She called them God's messages or God's daily, whatever. I, I can't remember what the envelope said, but I picked one one day and it was James for something. I don't know. So since James, a chapter of James in the Bible is so short, I read it all, right? It was only like three pages. So this is what I stumbled across. It's James for submit yourself to God. What causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You desire, but do not have, so you kill. You covet, but you cannot get what you want, so you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. You adulterous people... Don't you know what friendship, that friendship with God, sorry, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you think scripture says without reason that he jealously longs for the spirit he has caused to dwell in us, but he gives us more grace? This is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves to God, then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. When I read that, I got chills, and it was like I traveled back through time to that jail hub in Texas with that girl who said, Ilana, wash your hands. Let me recap. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify 
your hearts, you double-minded. And also another um, memory that came into mind was when I got saved, it was by a guard in Del Valley. She started speaking in tongues and like I f breathed like, <sighs> like so heavy when she was, when it was happening and it felt like you, know, when you cough up phlegm, it felt like when I breathed out so heavy, just all of a sudden, it felt like things were coming out of me. It was the craziest, coolest thing ever. But she said that she said you were double minded and I didn't know what it meant at the time. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Anyways, going back to gratitude that came to mind because I am so grateful. I'm free today. I have freedom. I can go outside if I want to. The doors aren't locked. There's no gate. There's no guards telling me chow time, ladies. You know, it's just beautiful. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share that because freedom, <laughs> if you've never been in jail or prison, freedom's beautiful. We take for granted that we can just go outside. There's people in prison for life who don't have that option. Love y'all.